William. Hello, John. What How a pleasure you, to man? see you. Oh, it has been so long since has. we've seen each other, and thankfully we have some time to spend together. Oh, good. The, the, so we don't have the, to rush the ladies. Right in. Uh, that's right. That's great. So well, have, have a seat. Thank you. Have a seat. Yeah, I think the last time we were together was uh, at tea at your house with Margaret. Yes, yes. Uh, we have so much to catch up on. We do. How's Margaret I, I love doing? It. It? Margaret's doing really well. Um, I mean, like all of us, we have age issues, and she does as well, but mm. she's doing just fine. And um, the, the, the good health is something that is nurtured, and she does such a fine job of that. Oh, I'm really good. pleased. My sister, on the other hand, I'll get into that in a sure. minute because yes. that's why I'm, yeah. I'm here. But I wanted to tell you a little bit about what's going on at the yard. Oh, please. It's please. been a while, it's hasn't exciting it? That you've, you've, you've been to the yard? I have. It hasn't been a while, but it's just, it seems like every time I go by, there's, there's new building and it just it has a speed of its own it's indeed and, it, and uh, i don't know whether you've noticed but the population of belfast has grown enormously mm. uh, approaching fifteen thousand skilled wow. workers to build these uh olympic class mm. ships that's, that's um, such a blessing for all those people who it, are it, looking it, for it, work before that indeed that uh, I, I, I still marvel at standing beneath the gantries and looking up to the t 200 wow. feet off the ground. I, I can't and, imagine. And that. the ships get nestled in between the gantries and the cranes operate and so forth. It's so exciting to see. And, and you must come down. Oh, I, and I don't, I don't think Harlan and Wolf had, has had a contract like this this large in years. This is true. And of course, probably this must be the largest. That it is. And, and I'm, I'm sure you, you know that we, we had to dredge the harbor. To, to make a deep water harbor for in Belfast. Yeah. And now it is one of the top ports in the world, deep water <sighs> ports. So we are planning ahead and this will do wonders for Belfast. I, I am quite certain of that. You know, it, it's, it's truly a blessing when I'm in the hospital administrating to some of the women. Um, not so long ago, many of their husbands weren't working. And now they're just so excited and to, you know, especially to have a child knowing, knowing his work. So that's the community thanks thanks you, but and, and I, everybody I, with you so much. It, I agree great. with you that the, that the community is in really deeply involved in this. Let me switch back, however, John. Sure. I, I'd like to know more about your boys. I haven't seen them in a while, and uh, John oh. and Frank and Roland. And oh, uh, they're all doing they're all doing well. Yes. And how, I can't remember how old they are. Well, let's see. John is probably seven now. Okay. And Roland is five, and uh, Frank is three already. Wow. So, yeah, time, it, time flies. There is something totally magical about it is. young children. And, and, and Frank's getting to that age where he's just making sure he's in the, the thick of things, and his older brothers have no choice but to, to play with him at this point. So. Well, but they're all. They're all enjoying themselves. I'm keeping an eye on them, John, because and they're keeping I'm thinking of future stars at, at ah, the Ah, yes. You see? Well, I'm, I'm sure you'll need more apprentices soon. Indeed, in 10 <laughs> years or so, right? Oh, John will be, be old fun. enough to consider that. Well, I think in, in lieu of that, Fanny will be very happy to, to give them up for, for an apprenticeship with Harlan and Wolf. So well, it, that, it, would be, that would be great. The, the Assuming energy. no one becomes a doctor, so. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's an interesting thought. I hadn't considered it, but uh, appreciate anything you might offer to sure, them. Sure. Uh, of course, having no children myself, it, 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 I, I tend to identify with other people's children, like, of course, Tommy. Oh. Tommy's well, you, like you, a son to me. Yes. I, mean, I think as he moves up, and he seems to be, ta the last time I spoke to him, he seems to be getting more administrative responsibilities in addition to being head of engineering so i that must say a lot what you know what everybody thinks of him ah so. indeed uh, he is I, I would i mean i'm obviously biased but i believe he's a genius well in uh, maritime design hmm. and the concepts he has i, I know well, no you, one you else you would know better than me and, yeah. and of course i think he's probably gone through the same apprenticeships you went through there, so that's... Well, yes, uh, things change over time, but yes, I worked my way up, and so is he. Mm -hmm. and, and you may know that I started him right at the bottom so that he would learn it from the ground up. So when he gets to be chairman, 
he'll have a sure. full understanding of everything that goes on in the yard. Well, it's just, when you think about it, it's amazing what he's accomplished. He's still a young man, and he's actually, I guess, including his apprenticeship, been there almost 20 years. Yes, so. yes. He started very young. Yes. I believe he was 15 or 16 when he, yes. when he joined us. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and and I, I come back to the ships, mm. the Titanic, We've now set the keel, John. Oh, boy, that's and so exciting. that's the beginning of yes. my dream. I have had a dream of this ship for years. Mm. And so as I see it grow and develop, it, it, it's nurturing my spirit because that's really oh, what I'm imagine. about. I would imagine some of the things you learned building the Olympic will help to transfer over to some. They have. Th and in a, uh, have you got any time available this afternoon? I, th I think I do, because I have... Yes, I do. Uh, uh, let me just see. So I only have three other appointments. Let me make a suggestion. Sure. Um, I have a, 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 a new motor that, that I'm thinking of uh, w when I get back to the yard. I'll, 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 when, when I hear from you after we're, you're finished with the women. Yes. Then I'll drive back and take you for oh, a ride. Oh, I would love and, that. Well, let's go down to the shipyard. So exciting. And, yeah. Oh. That's, that sounds wonderful to me. Motor, motor would be a fun ride. All right. If you don't hear from me then, John, I will be back uh, as soon as I hear from you that, that it's time. I think it'll be fine. You know, now, if we finish in time, we can have some tea together, possibly. And that would be wonderful. That would be great. We'll take a little ride. Let me switch to my concern. Yes. Yes. Eliza, like all of us, is not getting any younger. Mm. And she's, her behavior is odd. Uh, the best way I can describe it, um, forgetting things, losing things, sometimes has trouble f uh, forming a full sentence. I noticed that the last time I saw her a couple of weeks ago. So that's really the origin of, yes. and, and why I come in. I'm, I'm so glad that Nellie could be with her too because she's uh, insecure, mm -hmm. shall I say. Sure. Uh, and I, I know you know this, John, but let me remind you that she has uh, quite an assortment of drugs, yes, little I bottles, and I don't know to what extent they interact with each other. Well, possibly the few that I saw this was on last time, um, some of them we, we don't know how they interact. Oh. And they probably do so very differently in different people. Okay. And uh, I, I did ask her last time to bring in some of the others that she didn't, so I'm going to make sure we'll go over all that oh, and we'll God. try to truncate down what she's taking and try to eliminate things that might be interacting because at this stage I don't know what her symptoms are from medications mm. or from actual mm. pathology we have to worry about so I'm just not quite sure till we remove some of those other medications. Oh. Uh, if I'm hearing you correctly you, you, you'll eliminate get to a base yes and then yes. see how things are and, and move forward exactly that makes great exactly. sense to me great sense. we don't know what's age related yes pathology related or related to the medications. So well, just, just one, one layer at a time and we'll get, and, and we'll find out very quickly too, which will be excellent, which will be lovely. I, I so. can't relate to what she must be going through when her balance goes off. I have no yeah, frame and, of and reference. And the danger to that, of course, is if she, especially at her age, if she falls, and, and she has something that's we don't want that to happen so that's a major major thing that yes. we need to take care of god forbid she would fall one day and yeah hurt and herself I, and I think the i know she's she's had three or four different doctors over the last couple of years mm -hmm. and i i suspect the communication between them might not be ideal yes and that's why we're having these multiple types of medications i think also that given her communications challenges now she probably has not been too functional in telling one doctor what the other doctor said so the communicate so I think your theory is absolutely correct that, I, I like your approach yeah, that makes great that's sense been exactly to me. my concern great sense to me well I'm, I'm, I'm fully confident John that that y you will take care of her and get her on the the road to perfect health oh, and um, uh, let me just see if, if I think the, the the ladies went out for a brief walk. They wanted to get some fresh air. They do like to see the early part of the gardens out there. <laughs> they so it do. may take you a little while to find them. They do. <laughs> so I think 
with your permission, I will oh, go out and yes. and uh, I, I know your your gal is. Uh, uh, out of commission oh, Nurse today. Gordon. Yes, and Nurse Gordon is homesick. Oh, you know. I'm sorry for that. Yeah, she yeah. was coughing a bit, and uh, I, I suspect that, uh, you know, she's got some of that uh, grip that's going around. So, well, we just uh, perhaps, but I know she's in good hands with you, John. Yeah. Let me excuse myself. I'll go out and, and get the ladies, and I'll be right and back. And we'll call you when we're done, if, if that's okay, so Please. you can come back yes. and, oh, and yes. gather them. Uh, okay. I, I, when I hear from you, right after they're finished, then uh, I will arrange for a cab, and then later on I'll come back with my motor, and you and I will go out for a journey together. Oh, that would be grand. Lovely. Love, I, I love that. <laughs> Thank well, you again, very much, John. So good to see you, yeah. my friend. Yeah. You too. Thank you. you. Too. Give Margaret my best. Oh, I sir, and mine to Fanny, please. You bet. Thank we you. We will do that. Eliza, oh, it's Doctor. so so nice to see you. Welcome. Oh, I'm so delighted to see you. Oh, I'm, I'm glad you're here. My dear brother brought me. He did, and we got a chance to catch up. So why uh, don't you sit in that chair there? All right, thank you. And I suspect that's your bag of... Nellie. Hello, oh, it's Dr. good to Bynes. see you. Hello. Thank you so much for bringing Eliza. Thank you for having and the I time know, to see her. Oh, no, 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 it is my pleasure. My pleasure, and I'm glad you brought your bag of medications, which we will... We will go over. So, so I, I realize this appointment is for you, but would you allow us a few minutes just so I can connect with Nelly from the last of visit? So. And how is your dear mother? She's doing well. Oh, She's doing lovely. well. Still involved with uh, with the school. Oh, wonderful! And, and producing fine young women who are are energized to get the school in and become professionals, just like she was able to also. And she must be so proud of you being knighted by the Queen. I, she is. She is. I think that really, it was more of a, a pleasure for her than for me, I suspect. It was a little bit embarrassing. Well, we're all but very she, proud of you. she's very proud of that. So. Very proud of you, Dr. Bias. Oh, very, thank very you. proud. Thank you. So take care of my we dear will. Nelly. So, my first concern yes. was the dyspepsia you were having and how that was affecting. So I'm curious how that is doing. I'm doing point. fairly well, oh, I must wonderful. say. In fact, better than fairly well. I've been very careful as to not be having my meals too late in the evening. Even though Tommy does tend to come home from the yard rather late, I, I keep heard. him company and I insist that he has a full dinner. But I'm being very careful not to eat too much too late. And I'm having smaller meals, uh, very small ones throughout the day. Perfect. Yes. So that all seems to be going very well. Although I must say, Tommy brought it to my attention. You see, <laughs> Aunt Lizzie, she throws the best parties. Mm. And then when I come there, I tend to forget that I uh, tend to start eating much more quickly as I'm talking to everyone. And then I end up having a little trouble later on. You <laughs> become yeah. very naughty. I do. Yeah. I mean, very, very. Oh, I'm not what, chewing what I often enough. I recommend for people when they're in that setting to just just every once in a while, just kind of sit back, take a deep breath in, breathe out, and it, it just brings you back into the present time, and then you'll begin to chew a little bit slower. Wonderful. Not, not quite as much as the uh, flecturites from the Oh, goodness, we don't want to go to that extent. No, no that's, that's <laughs> I think, a, taking it a bit too just far. Just quite a bit of fact. So we won't, we won't copy that behavior. But so. I, well, that's a, it is a testament to you, Aunt Lizzie. You, you give the best society parties. I have such a wonderful time, and I forget to uh, take my meals properly. I know. <laughs> I have to really watch what you're doing. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad that that's working out for you, and I know we'll you know, at your next appointment, we're going to talk more about Indeed, the, yes. uh, the, the female issues and, and yes, how that's going. Yes, yes. Right? Um, so I know you still and Tom want to have a yes. We've have, been have talking. Child, so. We've been talking about having children. Yes, listen, yes. dear, you don't keep oh. talking. You have to do oh, something. Oh, Lizzie, <laughs> oh, Nelly, you, you really me. do. <laughs> Advice. Yes, yes, yes. I'm I, glad I have your. I'll let that your advice arm, stand as is. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I've dealt with women with that same problem, you yes. know, and we do suspect that the adenomyoma is part of it, and that 
too many, too many doctors are going right for some surgery. It's new surgery. They're excited about it. Yes. But I like to avoid that at all costs because we want to make sure well, your chances of yes, that's a relief. we want to make sure your chances of having children, you know, stay. And uh, and there's some natural methods we can use, all right, yes. and some different teas and herbs. And and I, and I do think even the digestive issues, the approaches that will help that will correct some of the issues inside that I think are, are complicating that. Oh. So I suspect everything has a connection. Right, of and course. As, as one, one, thing, one area gets better, the other area and will, and will also do And I've been doing do very well, as you had asked, and I am loosening my corset a, a, a bit before I go to dinner. That's so. good. It, it's, it's, I can't imagine <laughs> how you women eat with those corsets. And I, and I do think that there, you know, there's something about functional issues that should be more important than uh, aesthetic issues. Yes, yes. And, and I I'm know I've been talking to Fanny about this yes, a lot as well. Yes, and in fact, Dr. Um, Aunt Lizzie has been also reminding me that it's uh, not very healthy for me to be wearing it so tight, especially around my abdomen as well, uh, with Tommy and I considering having children. So um, I must say I've been doing very well, and I've been Good. following your direction. Well, that's, that's wonderful. And please let uh, Tommy know that you know, send my regards. I, shall. I know he's been working hard. And, but, oh, uh, William has been giving me great reports oh, about I'll everything that's going on in the yard, and, and I know much of that lays on the shoulders of Tommy. And it uh, does. William is is exceptionally proud. Of Uncle, Tommy. Uncle William tends to work him a bit hard, but um, it's all for the best. Oh yes, yes and William. Does. I have a feeling did much of the same. Yes, and, uh, probably, indeed. Probably had a similar elder. Pushing him correct. along, but it's it's worthwhile when I when I do walk with Tommy and you know and the other CM, I can see the respect oh, yes. that uh, his fellow workers and, and colleagues very have. much. And, uh, yes, for a young man, he's he's accomplished a lot. Yes, sir. and I'm also it's uh, interesting to note that Uncle William, yourself, and my Tommy attended Royal Academical, uh, which is yes, many different fellow, years fellow apart. Alum, fellow alumni. Yes, yes, yes. So yes different yes. times. Different but, times. Uh, it's we all have that. We share that same same pride. That's wonderful. Is, Tur is, turns out wonderful men. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of the two of them, my dear brother, and my wonderful son, your husband. The well, you, well, you should and be. the Titanic, wonderful ships. Yes. Well, they can't do these things without without you right right there helping them along. So I hope I'm so. sure they appreciate that as well. So let's let's kind she's of. She's a bit excited, even though the ships aren't that far along. She's she just cannot wait for the completion of everything. Oh, I so can she's, imagine. She's so proud of her son. I am. Yeah. And they'll have a, once everything is done. Those the celebrations will be exciting and. Then you'll really be able to enjoy all the, all the fine work. Getting ready for the parties. Oh, lovely. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was interesting to hear about all the electric that they're using in the ships. Oh, yes. I yes. know they're going to have, uh, the last time I spoke to him, he spoke about one nice big fireplace. Yes. But the rest, like, The I gentleman's guess are, smoking room. Right. Yes. But the others, are, are they going to be electric? They will be electric, and they will hmm. have Prometheus heaters. So that, I, I... That is... Think, think about where we were 10, 15 years oh, ago. Certainly. Yes, indeed. You know, indeed. That and, and motors without Everything's horses. Everything's changing. It's <laughs> people flying in the sky. It's yes. pretty, pretty Lucy, amazing. You have a telephone. We do, and I love that. And I have one, too. Oh, you do? I was going to ask you, how does your wife find the uh, new contraption, the telephone, at home? Well, I have discovered that she, uh, she likes it very much. Ooh. And she often calls me. That's very which good. Is, which is fine. That's very good. <laughs> so I get, it's nice to have that contact. Yes. In and fact. There, there are times she has to call about the boys. And, oh, yes, indeed. You know, she's got her hands, hands Quite full, full. Quite running full. that house. So. My Tommy calls me every evening on the telephone. He does. Oh, that's Every lovely. evening at 8 o'clock. That's lovely. It's so thrilling. Oh, I can imagine. What a nice surprise to have that. It's lovely, I mean, I, but you know, I'm having trouble hearing him. Which yes. comes to the reason why we're here today. Yes, yes. yes. And I know last time we didn't, we didn't have a lot of time to go over everything. The first visit was primarily about Nellie, but we did get a chance to look at some of your medications, and there was a couple of changes I made, but today we wanted to look at those. Before we look at the medications, I want to get a little bit more of a history. And we're going to do a, an examination, 
and then we'll, we'll review all the different medications as well. Now, one of the things I've been concerned about is the, um, the dizziness that you've been having. And I was wondering how, how you're doing with that. I get so bewildered and I'm so petrified of falling. And I did fall, didn't I, Nellie? Yes, yes. I she's, did fall. She had and Nellie found me. Yes, upstairs. She had fallen over in the hallway, and then she was having trouble regaining her balance. Well, that's something we're going to have. That's that's my main concern. You know, everything else it's all is right also a concern, it. but this is the one aspect of your health that could cause something more complicated very quickly. Because we don't want you to fall and and you know fracture leg or the hip and that that would be devastating you might want so. to mention to the doctor that you once again had fallen on the staircase as well oh no mm. i did i fell down the stairs and that's twice now because i remember the last time we were here she had told you of her first fumble so we are very very concerned well, on one of the and things I we'll, tell me. yeah one of the things we'll review beforehand too is in addition to the medications i think because of what you're experiencing, we're at the stage where if we can find one person in your household that are there working, if there can be one person who's really kind of their role is to make sure when you get up in the morning that they're there for you to help you get up, help you get dressed, and also help you down the stairs. And this is temporary, so don't think of this as permanent because I, I do believe once we change the medications and get down to what's really going on, we're going to be able to help the dizziness. You really do? I do. Oh. I do. So, no, but but it, it's, it's very frustrating when you get to a certain point in life when you have to become dependent on other people. It's absolutely terrible. And we want to make sure that that's a temporary situation. Okay, so we're going to help you with that. Not to worry, Aunt Lizzie, you're with family here, and all will be well. The other concern I have from last time, and I'm curious how, how often this happens, you were talking about how tired you are and also the amount of naps you sometimes take during the day. Well, Nellie, I'm so embarrassed. Nellie will tell you what happened. Well, uh, Aunt Lizzie had me over for tea, and she excused herself, but momentarily, and said she would return very quickly. Well, I was sitting about, I was reading some of the books in the drawing room, mm -hmm. and then I had noticed about 15, 20 minutes had gone by, and Aunt mm -hmm. Lizzie had not returned. So I started looking about the house, and I saw the domestics going about their daily routine, but I did not see Aunt Lizzie. So I decided to go upstairs, and where should I find her? She's in her room. Um, may I continue? I'm embarrassed, but you have to. Oh, worry. don't. It, I'm the person you can talk to things about. It's well, important that I know this. But I don't want you telling my husband. He'd be so upset. Uh, well, I, I, I won't share it with Uncle Tom. And I, I won't share it as well. So. Well, when I... Thank you.